Welcome to, This Cruel World. In these videos, we will be going through victims that had unfortunately crossed paths with Jeffrey Dahmer. The notorious serial killer Jeffrey Dahmer murdered and dismembered 17 victims and in some cases, even cannibalized their body parts. His killing spree lasted 13 years from 1978 through 1991. This is Stephen Walter Toomey and he was Jeffrey Dahmer's second victim after Stephen Hicks, who we discussed in our previous video. After the murder of Hicks in 1978, Dahmer did not kill anyone for 19 years, however, that all changed when he met Toomey in the fall of 1987. Toomey, who also goes by Steve, was born on December 19, 1962 and was only 24 years old at the time of his murder. He was a native to Ontonagon County in Michigan. He grew up with a normal upbringing and graduated from Ontonagon Area High School. He was described by those who knew him as, full of life, cheerful and energetic. Dahmer had rented room 507 at the Ambassador Hotel, located at 2308 West Wisconsin Avenue, Milwaukee, with the intention of bringing a victim back there. He met Toomey at Club 219, located at 219 South 2nd Street, Wisconsin, where he managed to lure him back to the Ambassador Hotel. In an interview with, Inside Edition, Dahmer said that he had no intention of hurting Toomey when he brought him back. He said that all he wanted was to spend the night with him, however, the next thing he remembered was waking up next to Toomey's dead body. Apparently, Dahmer had beaten Toomey to death with his hands but had no recollection of doing it. I, one time I brought this uh, young man back to the hotel room, the Ambassador Hotel, uh, was just planning on drugging him and uh, spending the night with him. I had no intention of hurting him. When I woke up in the morning, he uh, had a broken rib here. I was heavily bruised. Apparently, I had uh, beaten him to death with my fists. And you have no memory I of it? I have no memory of it. But that's what started the whole spree all over again. Dahmer managed to stuff Toomey's body into a suitcase and took it to his grandmother's home, where he was living at the time, located on 2357 South 57th Street, Wisconsin. It is there that he proceeded to dismember Toomey's body and became the bloodlust notorious killer that is known today as Jeffrey Dahmer, the Milwaukee cannibal. He decapitated Toomey's head and then removed the legs and arms from the torso. He then continued to remove the flesh from the bones, and then proceeded to shatter the bones with his sledgehammer. He took a few extra steps for the decapitated head. He boiled Toomey's head in an industrial detergent, scraped the flesh off, and then soaked it in bleach. Toomey remains were never found and although Dahmer was never charged for his disappearance, Dahmer was guilty based on his own admission. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we will continue to go through each of Jeffrey Dahmer's victims in the upcoming videos.